Hor Khentigeti is one of the images of the falcon god Hor or Horus and his tenth image. That image was known as a principal god in Atrib since the 12th dynasty and his role as a main god increased since the new kingdom and until the Greek Roman period. Temples were built for him for being the main god of Atrib. God Hor in his image as Hor Khenti Geti and God Osiris occupied and took the position of God Kemwer in Atrib. In the beginning Hor Khenti Geti was pictured as a crocodile or a man with a falcon head. He bore the name of Nebka Kemet which means the master of Atrib. With the increase of the importance of Osiris cult in Atrib since the New Kingdom era, according to the story of his legend about the burial of Osiris' heart in it, he was merged with the local god Hor Khentigeti to become god Osiris Khentigeti. The archaeologists think that there was a triad worshipped in Atrib just like it did in the other ancient great cities, and it was composed of Osiris in his form as a great black bull, being a husband and a father, and the sacred cow Henet as a wife and a mother. She took the form of goddess Hathor and got Hor Khentigeti, the son. God Horus took almost 11 different figures. Each figure had a different form and name and crown and dress and tools. In many of his figures, he took several shapes according to his role in the place where he was worshipped. In all cases, he was Hor, the celestial god and the falcon. His very name Her means the one who rises high, referring to the nature of the falcon. This diversity in names and shapes and roles extended his importance and his places of worship more than most of the important deities and made him a prominent god over most of the ancient Egyptian temples. Be the first to know. The news live at the site of the event. <laughs>